Well, we're here, the uh, final soap in the Taylor Swift album series, and it's been a it's been an interesting week. It's been a very fun week for me, and I hope you had some fun too. And so, yeah, we are uh, doing the folklore album today. So that's not really a spoiler because you like knew you had to know that we were doing folklore next. But I self do the thing because it's my thing. So uh, hello. I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things and also all the Taylor Swift things. And today you are here for day 197 of 365 Days of Soap, and we are doing the Folklore album. And I love this album. This album is actually the reason why I started the Taylor Swift album series thing to begin with, because this album is amazing and um it's not just amazing for me actually it's uh mr soap and clay he's not he's not a taylor swift fan right like that's not what he would just put on um but he loves this album loves this album and not only is this his favorite taylor swift album this is in his top five favorite albums of all time it's that big of a deal folklore is amazing. I mean, the reflection and the introspection and the confidence and the fear and the love and the, uh, it's so good. It is amazing. And it's, it's unlike anything that we've ever seen from Taylor Swift. She has never delivered anything to even come close to this. There's not a single banger on the entire album, not one. There's not an earworm that wriggles its way into your brain and just gets stuck there forever. But this album still changes you at the cellular level. It will stick with you. And uh, it's delightful. And because it is so rich and so deep and so adult and mature and just beautiful, we had a hard time figuring out what the tailor, what the folklore bar would look like. and. Uh, so with the album cover and all of the marketing that Taylor Swift has done for this album up to this point, it's all white and black, right? And I had a hard time doing a white and black because we have the black and the gold, right, for reputation. But also I had a hard time doing a black and white bar for an album that is so full of color. And I mean, I don't mean like literal color, although she does sing about that, but she sings about color all the time. I mean, it's vibrant. The, the lyrical quality, the musical composition, it's full of color. And so I did a, an interesting pour for this. And we've got some sculpted layers. We've got some layers and some angled layers and some mica lines. You guys, I do mica lines for this. And then the colored section of the bar will be modeled after a song on the folklore album called Invisible String. So it's an interesting pour. It's not, I've never done anything like this and it's, it's a thing. So we're gonna go talk more about the bar, you know, actually while well, you get to see the bar and stop. We're gonna. Oh my God. This bar is like the craziest thing that I have made in ever, like literally ever. I've never done anything like this. And uh, folklore was a hard one to do. Um, first things first, I knew it had to be an alcohol bar and not a wine bar. This needed to be hard A. So this is bourbon that we are using for the lye solution. It's 20% bourbon, 
80% fear. And yes, so that much I knew and I had figured out going into this. H had to be a hard alcohol bar because Folklore is a hard alcohol album. And not in a, I guess that sounds kind of bad. I mean, it depends on your opinion of hard A. Like, anyway. So the pour itself, we had so many conversations about this pour around the fire pit while listening to the Folklore album. But I mean, that's what we've been doing since the Folklore album came out. It's, you know, drinking wine around the fire pit and talking about the state of life and the world around us and all of the things and how perfectly Taylor Swift captured it all in this album. This album, if anything beautiful can come out of 2020 and everything that it was, in order to capture it and everything that it was, it would be this album. Like, it's extraordinary. It's, it's so good. It's thoughtful and thought-provoking and adult and reflective and just, it, it's perfect. And so we had a hard time figuring out what we were going to do for the pouring of this bar and Mr. Soap and Clay went do a white and black like the cover of the album and I couldn't do that because well I mean reputation is black and white black and gold rather and uh this album is full of color it's it's beautiful and so I decided ultimately to do a split so really what I'm gonna do is the bottom half of the bar is going to be white and black like the album cover and all of the marketing stuff that she put out for Folklore. And then the uh, top portion, the top half of the bar, this will be poured on an angle and I will be putting down a very heavy mica line, a gold mica line, that's important. And then the top half of the bar will be modeled after a song on the Folklore album called Invisible String and I love that. I wish that I could just play it while I was pouring. I actually did this little artistic thing, right, where I did an edit while I was pouring the, the colorful part or whatever to get it to all make sense with the timing of the Invisible String song and when the colors are mentioned within the song, all a thing. And you know, I just, it doesn't really work because I can't like play the song and whatever. You should go listen to Invisible String. So that's a, you should listen to the entire folklore album because it's amazing. But anyway, this uh, bottom layer is ready to go and let's move on to the next one. <laughs> Charming if a little gauche. That is like the whole, this whole soap like it's all a thing because it's charming it but there's a lot of colors going on with this because again we're modeling this after the invisible string song which is uh, there's a lot of colors going on in this and ultimately I realized through this pour that a couple things were at play a I was using all of the colors in the lover house within this um, just based on the things that she was singing in this song. You know, green was the color of the grass at Centennial Park and teal and, you know, bad was the blood. All of the things. And I thought that was cool. But then the pour itself, this was like a cool, happy accident, really, in that I separated it essentially into three different sections and with different layered angled layer techniques, you know, and um, she had put out this this thing after the Folklore album was released, sort of breaking the, the album down into chapters, and she put out three chapters, and I went, that's, that's freaking amazing, and it's, it wasn't, 
this was not intentional that it was in three different whatever but it <sighs> this is the end of the of the Taylor Swift soaps for me it's not the end of the Taylor Swift albums because you know in my world in my perfect world she will put out 13 albums before she calls it a day and says I have succeeded in the thing and I'm done now I want her to have put out 13 albums because 13 is her favorite number and it's all a thing so this is album eight so she tells me but within this project this is the final soap and it brings everything together just like folklore has brought everything together all of Taylor Swift's anthology brought it all together in beautiful ways but also 2020 and uh, all of the things that we have all felt on personal levels yes but also the different social things that we have been a part of and experienced and seen and I mean 2020 has been insane and to think of to think about her making this this album 100% in quarantine just doing her thing it's extraordinary but she's also capturing kind of what every single one of us went through on an individual level with the release of this album because we all experienced big fear, we all experienced big pain, uncertainty, unknown, but we also also all experienced like new hobbies. Like the, the, the Soap and Clay channel actually, I've been soaping for a bajillion years and have not built a channel until COVID because my shop was shut down for months and I couldn't teach and I still kind of can't teach in the way that I'm used to teaching and so I started the YouTube channel to have a uh, an outlet and the the folklore album was her outlet her life was turned upside down and she found a way to express that and we all found ways to express all the things that we were feeling or we you know whatever throughout all of the all of 2020 really and um, this is this captures everything again that we go through on per, that we went through on personal levels throughout 2020 and are continuing to go through and it stands as the anthem for this year I firmly believe that it's it's so extraordinary and uh, it's so good like folklore is so good you you should you should go and you should listen to folklore it's nothing like anything she's ever done before there's no pop sound to it there's no there are no earworms there are no you know bangers on the entire album but it changes you at the cellular level and uh, shapes you as a human being. And for me, all Taylor Swift things shape me at the cellular level, but this was even bigger. You know, like Mr. Soap and Clay, who has always just sort of humored my love for T-Swizzle, this is his favorite album to exist in the history of ever. Not his favorite Taylor Swift album, his favorite album. And he listens to some pretty amazing shit and this trumps all of it and because it's that impactful and I love that and so this was ultimately the reason why I decided to go ahead and finally do this Taylor Swift you know fangirl project and do soaps for all of her albums because this was so big this was this was the soundtrack for 2020 I think not just for us personally but if anybody bothered to listen to it for anybody who has been alive and experiencing 2020 it's it's beautiful and I I love that and I mean you guys I I've been doing this for the last you know seven days now eight and um if you haven't figured out what a big T-Swizzle fan I am by now, I don't 
know that you're really paying attention. And I, God, it's just, I loved being able to do this and do this in such a way that I, I always tell people at the shop whenever I'm doing like classes and for, especially for soap makers who I'm teaching, I, I tell them whatever it is that you are interested in, do that put that in soap form. Don't follow the trends. Don't do the thing and just because something is popular, make a soap version of it because it's inauthentic and your audience will see through that and you will have less success with it. Do something that is meaningful to you. It's like, you know, it's like coming out and saying, hey, I've really never heard a Taylor Swift. I don't really know Taylor Swift. I'm not super into it. I was listening to this when Taylor Swift was famous and then two days later coming out with a cardigan soap. Like, what is that? That's not, you're not into Taylor Swift. You are, it's inauthentic. You're not, you're, you're in it at that point for the, I don't know, for the pop culture and fine. I mean, whatever, but again, it's not, it's not good business sense, A, but it's also doing what Taylor Swift is a terrible disservice because she's so extraordinary that if you're going to do something involving Taylor Swift, you should actually know what it is. She, do some research. Like, try to at least try. And I think at this point, like, I didn't only try. This is my whole life. It's it's ridiculous how much of an impact Taylor Swift has had on my life, but you know, this album specifically has had, and it was cool getting to do this pour. And again, it was something that I'd never done before. I'd I've never done a soap like this before. This is this is wild. There's a lot going on in this bar, and I don't know what it's going to look like when it's all said and done. And you know when we when we cut it, but modeling it after Invisible String, and using all the colors and the descriptions within the lyrics to do this, it's just it's kind of awesome. So yeah, the I, I always encourage other soap makers that I am teaching and who are coming up in the world to live their most authentic lives in their soaping journey because that's where you're going to have the most fun and that is where your audience and your customers are going to really connect with you and with the the thing that you're doing so you know if you're not into Game of, of Thrones you should not make a Game of Soaps line same thing with Harry Potter most definitely same thing with Taylor Swift and I look at that I at the end of all of this, the the blood, sweat, and tears, and again, not really blood, not really sweat, but lots of crying went into this creation, and I will never be as awesome as Taylor Swift, but um, I'm a soper, and my love for all things T-Swizzle, I think really, I, I yes. Look at that. That is the craziest soap in the world and it's so chaotic and nuts and still perfect. And it's perfect because I am I am focusing on things that are important to me. And that is the biggest takeaway for all new soapers or for anybody in life. Like even if you're not a soaper, just Focus and do the things that are important to you, that drive you, that bring you joy. And the, the, the payout for that will be huge because you're doing something that is meaningful to you. So don't follow the pop culture trends. Don't do it just because it's popular. Do it because you care about it. And when you don't care about it, people can tell. And... Yes, that seems a little bit weird and uh, obtuse and whatever, but for people who follow other soap channels, you probably know what I'm talking about. And for those of you who don't, it's really not important. Um, 
But that is the uh, the folklore bar and it's wild. It's so crazy and yet it becomes a super perfect landscape soap wherein all of the colors within all of the lover house totally represented throughout the entire thing and everything that is beautiful and all of the color and vibrance that we see from the folklore album also represented and it's beautiful and hard to describe and hard to make sense of and that makes sense in the grand scheme of T Swizzle because it's hard to make sense of things unless you're actually paying attention and the folklore album is something you should super pay attention to because it is Oh God, it, it's such a good album. Um, listen to it. I mean, do just, it's nothing like anything Taylor Swift has ever done before. And that's not a bad thing. It's a pet project for her, maybe, but it's an extraordinary pet project. And I, of course, was here for the Folklore album as well. And that is day 197, the last of the soaps in this series. And it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. So, this is definitely a different pour, for sure. I've never done anything like this at all, but did you see my mica lines? I, you got two big, beautiful mica lines. This is how much I care about this, that I actually took the time to get the mica lines right, and that became the invisible string, but also the single thread of gold that ties me to you that's in the song, Invisible String, as well. And it's awesome. And I realized as I was pouring the colored section of this that all of the colors that are represented in the verses and whatnot are also all the colors in the lover house from the lover video and all of the colors that we have used for the seven bars leading up to this. And I thought that was so fitting and kind of perfect. And so that was cool. And this has been such a cool um, experience across the board and the folklore bar, again, seals everything together. The folklore album has become, again, Mr. Soap and Clay, loves this album more than anything and this has become the album that he will put on and we will go out to the fire pit at night and drink wine and talk about the state of life while this is our soundtrack and it is just perfect i don't think there is a way to have captured everything that we have all experienced in 2020 as well uh, that she did it. This. Taylor Swift captured everything that we have all experienced and gone through in 2020 with this album. And it has become the soundtrack for deep reflection and uh, growing closer with Mr. Soap and Cl I mean, it's amazing. I highly recommend you, you know, actually picking up the Folklore album and listening to it if you have not already. It's incredible. And this bar is cool and super different from anything I've ever done. And I think weirdly, it still totally like cements and finishes the Taylor Swift thing beautifully. So if you are interested in purchasing the Folklore Bar, you can do that in a couple of days. We have two more days of extra Taylor Swiftums in the, in the lineup. And then after that, I will release all of the bars. So you can get them individually as well as within a set. And it's awesome. And there's more about the set later because the, the making of the bars is not the only thing, right? Like these are getting boxed and they all have saying, <sighs> it's a thing. So you can pick them up at soapandclay.com. Um, if you are interested in following me on social media, I am there, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you are interested in more soapy antics, subscribe to the channel. I don't always do big passion projects like this, but this one was big and it was huge. And I cried and obsessed and laughed and all of the things over this one because it was so big and near and dear to me and hopefully you found some enjoyment and some entertainment in this as well and if you did cool subscribe to the channel for those of you who are already subscribed thank you so much for being a sudzer i appreciate it i hope you guys had a good time with the taylor swift series it's been fun and we have two more days again and then we will release all the things and do all the stuff and yeah so for that i am done for today and I'm actually going out to the fire pit to listen to folklore. And that's kind of it.